John James Audubon grew up on a farm in Pennsylvania. As a young boy, he loved hunting and watching the wild animals around the farm. When he grew up, John Audubon moved to Kentucky and began drawing the local birds and wildlife. He sometimes even shot the birds so he could better study them and draw them in his studio. In 1827, he published Birds of America, which included 435 different plates of American birds. Audubon is known as an ornithologist or a person who studies birds. Audubon also painted pictures of other American animals like the white-tailed deer and wolves. We will be creating our own John James Audubon inspired prints using transparencies. All you need for this project are some transparencies and some paper and a picture to use as inspiration for your print. You'll also need some markers. Uh, Water-based markers are the best since they can just uh, wash right off and they transfer to the paper really well. And I'm going to be drawing this bird that I found in a calendar. And I'm just going to start off um, with the head of the bird. And you can start anywhere that you want and use the colors that you see. It's not going to end up looking exactly the same, but I'm just going to start drawing out the lines and eventually I'm going to start drawing the shapes that I see. And the nice thing about this technique is that if you make any mistakes at all, you can just wipe it off with a paper towel, or you can go over it with another marker. You can also mix colors together really nicely. So now I'm drawing the beak of the bird. You'll notice that my colors aren't quite the same. I'm using a little bit more purple instead of the black that's in the real picture, but that's okay. It's okay if it doesn't look quite the same. The more color that you build up, uh, the better it's going to look. So it's okay to overlap colors and change colors. And you'll notice that I start changing colors a little bit and I start changing a few things here and there. And it's really easy to do on the transparency. The more colors you have added uh, will make it look a lot more richer and bright. So now I'm drawing in the tail feathers of the bird. And all the little tiny details come afterwards. And I'm going to draw kind of an imaginary stick that the bird is sitting on. And you can add things like that too. So there is my bird. And when you take it off of the white paper, it'll look a lot uh, less bright. And you'll see when I flip it around, that's what it's going to look like once I print it on my paper. So it'll be the opposite. So if you have any words, you want to make sure that they're written backwards. The next step is to take a really uh, just slightly wet sponge and take the sponge and take it across your paper a couple times. And you just want to make sure that it's just slightly damp. You don't want any puddles. You don't want it to be dripping, sopping wet. Just very, very slightly damp. And you have to work kind of quickly and lay your transparency down on top of the slightly damp paper. And then you can kind of press down. It's helpful if you kind of form a fist and use your knuckles to press down onto the transparency. This will make sure that the transparency doesn't move and that all of the color transfers to the paper and it should come right off of the transparency. You might notice a little bit of bleeding which is when the marker uh, starts to kind of spread out a little bit. It looks more like paint then and that's just fine. That's what we want to happen.
if you use too much water, it could bleed all over the place and just create a big colorful uh, mess. But this worked out really nice and it transferred right off the transparency. The transparency is pretty clean. And there I have my bird Audubon inspired print using transparencies.